So, in this video, we will start with the Python programming, the complete Python programming. Okay, we will not miss any topic. We'll start from the very basics and we'll cover each and every concept, advanced concept, the OOPS concept, database, and everything you can think of, even file handling and all those concepts. Okay. So the point of this is that you you should guys know Python in very much detail as far as possible. Okay. So this will be the first video of Python in which we'll start with the basic introduction to Python. Introduction in what sense? Not those introduction like who thought, who discovered Python, when was Python started, what he thought, what he ate, no, not all those things. So what will we get, uh, will we do? We'll get started with um, in such a manner that we can easily go and code in Python. Okay. So you guys can see my screen. Python code is editor is already open. Okay. So in this code editor, I'll write a small piece of code. Okay. And uh, that will be much relatable to the mathematics. Okay. If you guys hate mathematics, don't worry. Doesn't matter. It is just a normal addition program. Okay. We'll just take two numbers, add them, and we'll understand each term there. Okay. And then we'll analyze each keyword that we identify from them. And through that process, we'll be learning a lot of steps. Okay. So let's have a look. So I will just write few lines of Python code. It's very comparable to mathematics. Like I will take a number. A. Let's suppose ten. I'll assume this. Okay. I'll take another number. B is equal to 3 and then I'll take something like sum so I'll do some like a plus b and finally like this is maths like till this much point you can totally read it I took a number which is 10 I took a number which is 3 I added both the number okay the difference lies here that when you have taken both the number now in in any programming language of course this is your answer but like you have written a lot of lines your computer really does not know what is the answer it just it cannot guess, oh, line number 5 is the answer, line number 3 is the answer. No, it will not be able to guess that. Okay, so what will you do? Whatever is your answer, we'll write in the print statement. We will understand this in very detail. I'm just trying to give you a little basics. And I'll write as it is. Okay. And then uh, once you're done, just click on run. And you'll get the answer here, 13. That is what we're expecting. And that's the simple Python program. You guys have already wrote your first program. You may not have realized it. Okay, so let's try to figure it out. What are everything? Okay. Like, let's see. Let's analyze this line. A is equals to 10 and understand it. So, let's have a look. A is equals to 10. Okay. So, what I'll do? I will take my pen and pencil. Okay. And get started. So, see guys. So, let's do this. This is A. So what do, what do I mean by this A? What does this equal to stands for? What is this 10? Okay. And some more terms. Uh, that is not directly visible, but we'll even know that. Okay. This A that is standing here is called variables. What are variables? We will understand it very clearly. But for now, let's understand it. What are the things that are involved? So this is variables. This is called operator. What is operator? Operator are something like equal to plus, minus and all those stuff. Okay. That you can think greater than, less than, everything comes under operator. So operator will have a lot of, it's a vast thing. It has a lot of categories. So we'll deal it one by one. And what is this? This is constant. What do you mean by constant? Like, you know, 10, 2, all those number things are constant. Okay. So we'll also deal with constant. And then finally, what is this? This is, there is a term called data type. What do I mean by that? We'll of course have a look. Data type, let's leave it for uh, some lectures later. So currently we realize, uh, so currently we'll get started with these four terms, variable, operator, constant, and data types. Through this, we'll understand the basics of Python. Literally, these are the basics of any programming language. So a little bit here and there, but 90% is the same for most of the programming languages. Okay, so let's try to uh, figure out what is variables and let's understand it. Okay, and then we will figure out more and more steps. So then we'll figure out operators, then we'll figure out constant, then we'll figure out data types and so on. Okay, okay guys, so what will I do? I will just remove all those stuff. Okay, and then please let me remove this also and let's get started with something called variables. Okay, so variables. Okay, 
So uh, what is basically a variable? Variable basically means name, the name that I give to something. Okay, for example, let's have uh, some few examples of variables. So it will be quite easy for us to understand. And then there will be certain rules that we must follow to name our variables. Okay. So see, I can have a is equals to 10. That means, what does this basically mean? This basically means, okay, a is storing a value 10. Okay, so whenever I have to use 10 again, okay, what I'll say, I'll just call a, right? I'll say, like, for example, a plus 1. So what will be the answer? a is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, just like normal case, okay? There is a deep meaning involved here, but that we'll see a bit later. But one thing that you can understand, variable is a name given to something. So whenever we talk about name, you must realize naming something is quite important sometime, right? Like literally, uh, like you can say, I am doing sum of two numbers. That means, let's suppose 10 plus 3. What will this answer give you? This will give you 13. So you can name it whatever you want. Like you can name it hello. Doesn't matter. So what will be the value for hello? 10 plus 3, 13. So it's correct. It's not wrong. But what we should do? Step number one. This is rule number one. Not necessarily, but we should follow it. Okay. We should always give a name that is quite proper to it. Right? Like we should not give any random names. So if we give a name sum, we, if we give a name add, that make more sense. Okay. So step number eight. Always give a name. That make a sense okay don't just randomly write a b c d give a proper name even if it is big doesn't matter okay okay this is rule number one okay. so let's first identify variables what are variables okay i'll give we'll bring that example again the sum example let's take a is equals to 10 b is equals to 3 sum a is equals to a plus b and then finally uh, print so. so how many variables are there can you guys give me a comment how many variables are in this problem I will uh, uh, all those comments which are right I'll put a heart mark okay. Don't do okay guys so see a is equals to 10 so a is a variable why how can you identify a variable variable will always store some value one or another value okay so this a is 10 Okay, so I am basically using two screens, so don't get confused sometime looking here and there, okay. Okay, so A is 10, okay, awesome. That means A is storing a value which is 10, that means A is a variable, okay. Similarly, B is storing a value which is 3, so B is also a variable. What about this sum? Is this sum also a variable? What do you guys think? Yep, this sum is also a variable, why? Because this sum is holding a value A plus B, that means 10 plus 3, 13. So if I ask you what is the value of sum, it's 13. So A, B and sum, all the three are holding a value. So all the three are some variables, okay? There are certain rules to name a variables. So this is one thing. The certain things, there are certain rule. We should follow those rules uh, to name a variable. Of course, we'll be learning those rules throughout. But a common idea is you can have a variable as long as you want, okay? But there are certain words you cannot have a variables. Uh, we'll see those words later, okay? Like those are words that have predefined meaning like okay in python so literally you cannot use those words as variables we'll see those words later okay for now you can literally use any anything as a variable name with some restrictions here and there which we'll see along the course so don't worry about that okay so that was about variables guys and the next topic that we'll cover is operators and constant also constant is a small topic then we'll jump to operators and from operators like literally we'll start solving lot of questions also. So, uh, and uh, after every, uh, like from operators, after every video, I'll give you some problems to solve and we'll discuss those problems in the next video. So, this was the first video. So, I want to keep it a little cool. Okay. So, that's all from uh, uh, this video, guys. So, so, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video, right? And as you know, in these kind of videos, we are able to bring such quality content because of Newton School. Newton School is a, like a platform which helps you guys to perform a great career, okay? To me, it will help you to build a great career in full stack development. Whether you are a working professional or a fresher, doesn't matter, okay? They have different kind of batches for everyone. If you are a fresher, 
the best thing is you don't have to pay until you guys get placed with a package of 5 lakhs or more if you are experienced depending on your previous package you guys we can sit and decide your new packages right and then finally once you get placed and that's the time to rock so they help you guys to build a great career okay so if you are interested in get, getting a great career in a tech background to check out the link that is below this video okay guys so see you in the next video wait guys where are you going so fast that's not good why because you have to do something small small thing and what are those first do like my uh, video if you really enjoyed it okay give it a thumbs up that's will be quite motivating for me okay subscribe to my channel and do turn on the bell notification like what will happen so you can get the future notifications of all my videos like i upload videos almost daily okay if you have any doubts or confusion don't forget to put a comment i'll try to answer your query as far as possible and you guys know sharing is power right sharing is knowledge as it has been rightly said so if you want both power and knowledge do share it with your friends okay and before you go you can also check out this course on launchpad uh, like on launchpad you'll get much more features like quiz and other things after every video okay okay guys so now i'll see you in the next videos bye bye